Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where the gnomes live. This is Sharon Oyella, and today I'm doing a quick update video for you. I'm going to show you how I fixed Radagas's beard. So if you've been watching this channel, you know that I just built this guy on video. And when I put his beard and his hair together, I was using some fake fur that I found on a collar of a jacket that I got in a thrift store. And that was too short. And I said if I could find some longer hair, I would redo his beard. And today is that day. And this kind of happened by accident. Now I know this has had to have been done before. People using jute twine for hair. But I've never done it before. And in fact, this kind of fell on the floor. I was looking for something. And when it fell on the floor, I thought, oh my gosh. <laughs> bet you that would make a great beard. And that's kind of how I stumbled onto that. But like I said, I'm sure it's been done before. In fact, I'm going to show you. Uh, when I was doing the back of his hair, I left it really, really long. And it looks like gorgeous fairy hair. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So if you're building a fairy and you need some hair, today's video is for you because this, honestly, it looks so gorgeous. Like his beard, you can already see that it could turn into beautiful hair. We're going to update his beard. I'm also going to show you the gnomes because I had a comment asking me to do a size comparison. So I'm going to do that at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. And as always, there are timestamps in the pinned comment below. All right, so I was just playing around with this twine here. And, well, first of all, let's do a before shot of them. And I haven't tried this yet, so we're just going to be doing this for the first time together. So if you looked at pictures of him, you'll see that his beard, look at that, is pretty long and it has a wave to it. And that's what I was missing when I first made him. And I did mention it in the video. And I said at the end that if I could find some proper hair for him, then I would redo his hair. So I think this is going to work here. So this is your dollar store twine. And I just cut off a piece. And I was playing around with it. It does come apart if you untwist it. Then it comes in three, I think there's three wraps. Yeah, there's three of them in there. Take those apart. But if you take them apart even further, it looks like hair. Look at that. And it's naturally wavy, so I could give him a proper beard finally. This one isn't doing it. Although he looks great and he's handsome and everything, but that's not his beard. His beard is supposed to be long and wavy. So poor guy, I really had to tug on that stuff to get it off. And it started taking off some of his skin. <laughs> I'll just leave whatever's left on there on there. And I'll start from underneath first. This reminds me of when I had Barbies and my brothers gave them haircuts. <laughs> this is what it looked like. <laughs> Just popping in with an edit because my doll here is a little bit different than what you'd normally do because I did have to cut off the first layer of hair. He still was left with some hair underneath. I didn't have to layer it as much as I did in the first video on him. So if you're interested in seeing how you layer the hair, then you would just go back to that video. And that will be popping up on your screen or look in the pinned comment below. But it's the same thing. Just put a bead of tacky glue, put your layer of hair, and then you just move up a little ways. And then bead of tacky glue and some hair. And then move up and you keep going until the whole head is covered. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to update you on how we fixed this beard. So let's get back to it. I'll show you what it looks like with a full head of hair before I've cut and dyed it here. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? So if you're making a fairy doll, or just a doll in general that needs hair, then this. And cheap? Oh my goodness. Wouldn't have to buy any doll hair. So yeah, the trick is to separate it completely. You could use that or even separate it further because all of this has been separated further. And that's how it got piles like that. So I've been working on this beard and actually coloring it a little bit too with some chalk. Just dipping my paintbrush in some water and then running it along the chalk. 
I just want to add a bit more wave to the front of his beard. And I lost it, a lot of the wave, when I separated the strands completely. So I just did another strand and kind of try to keep them together there to keep that wave. Open up the top so I can glue that part in. And I took my chalk and instead of wetting this one, I just ran it along dry. So I'll do another one. So it's not straight across because I don't want a straight across look on the bottom. So I'm kind of trimming up like in a V shape. much better. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for when I first made him. Uh, I, I just was craving to have that long wavy beard, but I knew it would come to me eventually. But um, yeah, just carry on with what you can do and then what you can't do will eventually happen. Love his eyebrows too. His eyebrows look a lot better than they did. I had just recent, I think it was yesterday I got a comment to do a comparison of my gnomes with this guy here. Quite a bit of a difference. But I think it's a good difference, though, because gnomes are supposed to be really tiny, right? So, so that's Nomi. He's quite dirty. He's been around for many years. I made him in 2013. He's been overhauled once, and he's going to have to have another one done here pretty soon. I made him first in 2013, and then 2014, I went to Finland to see my family and visit my Aunt Katri. And she was 100 years old at the time, still living on her own. On my flight home, which was 13 hours, <laughs> I thought of many things that I was going to make, and she was one of them. So she's been named after my own Aunt Katri, and she's Nomi's mother. And they live over here in the forest that I've been building in my craft room for a number of years. Aunt Katri runs the bed and breakfast. Nomi runs the post office. Everybody has their own little job to do. There's little Jack and Big Mac. Annie. Professor Horn. <laughs> Louie, Freddy the Snail, Red the Dragonfly. He's the only one I didn't make. This was made by my good friend Kim. And a couple of mice there. And there's lots more coming. Radagast has kind of hijacked all the attention just now. But as soon as I'm done with him, we'll get back to the forest. But with that said, everything I'm doing for him, you guys can use in your own little miniature worlds. Like if you're building a fairy world and you have a fairy that needs hair, now you know that you can use this stuff here, and it makes the most gorgeous fairy hair. Yeah, I'm kind of glad he's hijacked everything. <laughs> There's lots more coming for him. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you know when I upload the next video. And I'll get back to work. I'll let you guys get on with your day, and we'll see you super soon. And until next time.